what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Sixers big man Joel M.B. dropped 26 points on the Celtics last night en route to victory and proceeded to dunk on Rihanna. The Rihanna, yeah. Now, in a post-game interview, he was asked, do you have anything to say to the young woman who told you to come back when you're an all-star? And he said, she denied me back then, so why go with her again? That sound cool, right? That sound a little gangster, right? Here's the problem I have with that. I don't think he's being genuine. Because the dude has been really, really thirsty going after Rihanna, right? And here's the thing, man. Some of these dudes, these youngsters on social media, man, they, they be chunking themselves, man. Like, if a woman don't want you, man, the way to get her ain't to make a damn fool out of yourself. Now, every now and then that does work. But even if it works to where you get the girl, She'll never respect you. She'll always think that she's better than you. You have to meet people on even terms. You can't be the person in the relationship that's constantly chunking yourself and the other person is not reciprocating that attention, right? Dude had another tweet where he was this was a, a post, a, yeah, a Twitter post. He put up, no, was it Twitter or Instagram? One of them. He was eating dinner, and then he uh, captioned a family, family, you know, with Rihanna, you know, family dinner with Rihanna, something like that. And then he had another one where he, somebody superimposed, it looked like a super, it looked like somebody superimposed his jersey on to Rihanna. And he posted it like, like she's a major supporter of his or something like that. I don't even know if Rihanna even remember old dude. But let me tell you something, man. For her to make that statement, if she did make that statement, if she did say, come back when you're an all-star, that's pretty foul, right? And that's the ultimate blow off. Why would you still consider dating her? Why would you continue to pursue her if that's the way she feels? Why would you even wanna be with somebody who would want to be with you on that basis. This is why these dudes get what they get. I don't feel sorry for them when they get ran through. I don't, get, I don't feel sorry for them when them chicks take them to the bank. I don't feel sorry for them at all because they ask for it. These dudes be, man, these dudes be chucking themselves bad, man. I look at it like this. If, if I like a, a woman, I let my intentions be known and then I fall back. I let her know, hey, I like you. I want to get with you. And then I fall back. And then from there, it's up to her. But I do know this. You can pursue her subtly just kind of like, you know, just let her know, you know, you're still a little interested, but you cannot be overt with it. Because the first thing a woman going to think is that, man, he kind of creepy. He seem kind of creepy, you know, like women don't like men who are very aggressive, who aggressively pursue them. First thing they start thinking is something wrong with you. But when you ignore them, if she come after you or you come after her, and she don't give you no play, next time, just act like she don't even exist. Next thing you know, she all in your face. You can't get rid of her. You cannot put yourself out there 
where you're looking all thirsty and do look pretty thirsty. 23 years old, he caught up. He caught up in the whole Instagram, Rihanna celebrity thing. And I bet you she could call him right now and say, meet me at 4 o'clock a.m. in Pasadena, Texas on the on the lake and don't bring anybody with you come uh butt naked with a straightening comb in your damn head and with some white powder on your chest i bet you he'll do it because a lot of these cats out here are straight up suckers don't play yourself like that youngster let a woman know your intentions and then fall back and let the chips fall where they may. Again, even if at some point Rihanna was to entertain him, and let's say they entered into a relationship, she'd never respect him. Because in her mind, he's that thirsty dude who wanted her more than anybody in the world and made a fool out of himself. And that's the ultimate trump card, pun intended. No more talk. What the haters talking about?